Hey everyone, so um, this is going to be my update video on what's just going on in my life. Um, I didn't really post a lot about my college experience, but now that I am leaving the school that I am and hopefully transferring, I want to post about this. Hopefully um, it could help people who are also thinking about transferring out of their college. Um, about like 33% of college students transfer each year. So hopefully um, I, will, I will successfully transfer. Okay, sorry. Um, first off, this video is going to be probably um, heavily edited because um, I have class in like 30 minutes and I'm just in the mood to film something. And also, I apologize for the lighting. Um, yeah, I just don't have time to find better lighting. Um, and don't, don't look at my hair for too long. I have like five hairstyles in one right now. And I can't find any clippers, so I had to use some like shaver, um, my shaver to shave some hair, but there's still a lot like of pieces that are still there. But anyways, this video is not about that. It's about um, a college update and me, uh, my life right now. Um, so, if you don't know, I go to a school, it's a historically women's college in the Bay Area, Oakland Pacific. You can probably easily find out where it is um, on Google or something. Um, so I went there straight out of high school and I just kind of fell into this place. Um, I went in with the goal that I was already going to transfer, but I thought I was going to transfer out of my first year. Um, I just thought that I, I don't know, I didn't know what I wanted in college. My whole college experience um, at applying um, was really weird. Um, I didn't do a lot of my research and this was the only liberal arts college that I applied to and I wish I applied to a lot more um, like Wellesley or Reed but anyways um, so I came here I found out about this place because um, someone who I knew graduated um, from my high school went here and she seemed to enjoy it a lot and at that time, I didn't know, like, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even, like, cons like, contemplate it being a woman's college. Like, I just thought it was, like, any other college. I don't know. Um, but then I was also exploring, like, my, um, just my romantic orientation, and I wanted to go to a place that apparently was super like queer friendly um because that was something still really new to me um so i came here to traditional i could probably include clips of um me my dad and my sister moving in <laughs> i remember um okay anyways that's not i probably should make a separate college video but anyways, um, so I moved in, Orchard Meadow. My first semester was really great, although I forgot to mention that my best friend from high school also came here, um, super stoked. And she was the daughter of a Smith graduate, so want to continue the whole women's college thing. Um, so my best friend came here, someone that I knew from high school was here, and I just thought, like, this is great. It's like post high school. Um, my first semester was pretty great, although it was pretty hard for me um, in the sense that my best friend left, like, without even telling me, just left in the middle of the year. Um, but I'm kind of glad she did now that I'm thinking about it because that really allowed me to grow and look for more friends and I met two really great friends who really helped me my first year um, but my second semester my first year was the, when shit started going down excuse me for cursing when stuff started going down um, I remember 
I just remember it being really dark and gray. Um, and there was this Eve incident that happened on Facebook, social media that attacked black women, women. And I remember feeling really down about that. Um, but I still really liked this school. I was still um, imagining myself graduating from here. Um, so moved on to second semester or second year. I um, applied to be a summer RA and I got the position. And so I came here about a month before everyone else. Um, probably like five weeks before everyone else and I was an RA for rising first years for first generation low income students and I mean it was a great experience but I just get burned out really easily and I think that really started um, that really affected me when I started my second year here um, so my second year here I'm a second semester sophomore so last semester was one of the hardest semesters or I've ever had and I really I don't know it's just it just was not good I did not do good academically I wasn't good socially I started getting really bad social anxiety um, about founders my friend who um, was supposed to live in the same building as me couldn't afford living on campus anymore, so she had to leave, um, move to the to off campus. Um, and then we got in an argument, a fight, because she said something about homeless people that I don't know <laughs> that I did not approve of or didn't like. And um, so we stopped talking first semester. And my other friend, who's still my really good friend. She's also just really introverted compared to me, I'm extroverted. And so she mostly spent time in the other, in another hall. So in Founders, I would never see her. And Founders is like our dining hall. So I just started getting a lot of social anxiety about being around people, which is really weird because I'm an extrovert and I love being around people. But, um, yeah, I really was considering not coming back for spring semester, but at that time I was applying to be on campus, um, in the on-campus co-op, and just everything, I started doing research about co-ops, and I was like, this is for me. I was basically explaining um, to my friends my first year so like I wish there was like a place where I could share food we just like share responsibilities and it's like a lot more communal um, living and that's exactly like what a co-op was so I'm very blessed that this campus the school had a co-op and they had one extra room available <sighs> thank you god anyways but um so that process in itself was super super stressful i applied in october to be on to be in it's called larson to live in larson co-op um, and it's an environmental sustainability um, focused co-op so i applied in october i did not find out if i got in until two days before winter break um, was supposed to stop was supposed to be finished and I was supposed to come back on campus and it was just so stressful and that had to do with um, a lot of I don't know that our res life was and still is um, transitioning and I don't know that's on them anyways but it was just super stressful and I did not know where I was gonna live winter um, for after spring semester this semester but I'm very, very thankful that I got here. And um, I'm really glad to. This semester has been better, way, way better than last semester. I um, started going to Berkeley, UC Berkeley clubs, uh, meetings, and I started connecting with people there. And one of the main. Hey, so I am back. Um, I had to go out and. 
Well, I went to class, Zumba class, and so that's why I changed the lens. Um, the lighting is probably a little different because the sun um, is setting. And um, I know it's a little slanted now. It's just I have some clothes on the floor that I just plopped my tripod on. So it's going to be a little diagonal. I hope it's not um, distracting. But anyways, I wanted to continue on with my video and hopefully have it um, out by today. Because today's Earth Day. So weird that it's only one day. It should be at least one day for each month. But anyways. Um, okay, why I'm transferring. Um, I'm transferring for a lot of different reasons. And it was really hard for me to come to this to this decision. Because I thought that. I thought that everything I was going through was part of college. And that it was just a given. And... I didn't know that other people were experiencing the exact same things that I was and that it wasn't a unique situation. Um, so I'm transferring because the way my college is um, operated, it's in the middle of a large city, Oakland, and hopefully I'm in the zoo, sorry. It's in the middle of Oakland and it has gates around it and it feels very separated from the city. And a lot of people um, note that it feels like a bubble. And sometimes it's really great, but sometimes it's just not good because I feel like I can't go off campus. Um, they often say it's like an oasis in Oakland. Um, so most colleges have like, you know, a surrounding little city, a college city with shops and stuff, but we don't really have that. We just have gates and luckily we do have pretty good transportation, public transportation. And we have um, Clipper card, which is a card for us to go on the bus. And I often do go to the bus, especially now that I'm in independent living. Um, I need to go to get groceries and stuff. Um, and all that I'm more involved in UC Berkeley clubs. But that's another thing, it's just clubs. The reason why I had to go into UC Berkeley and explore their student life was because the student life on campus is very lacking. I was the founder and president of my film club and I did a lot of the work to, um, we had like three events and I did a lot of the work um, and I wanted more like a collaborative effort but it felt like you know, some people come just for like the food and stuff, which is totally okay. But I just want more student involvement and student pride in college. Um, a lot of people, it's like this common um, feeling that I get that people are here. Like, they're not really happy to be here, but... Um, they're just here because something happened, like they didn't get into their dream school, but for some people this is their dream school. Um, and I'm not saying it's like a very bad school, it's not. Like, I'm so grateful for all the opportunities and the amount of growth that I've had here. Um, it just only left me hungry for more resources, for more people. Um, yeah, another thing that I am leaving while I'm transferring is that they don't really have a study abroad program, which is terrible. Um, the school, one of my dream schools is Wellesley, and it kind of sucks because I'm going to be a first, second, I'm going to be a first semester junior if I transfer successfully, and juniors are ineligible to study abroad during one of the semesters because you have to spend four semesters at um, Wellesley, but um, depending on how my credits go, I might spend five semesters and I could do one semester abroad. Anyways, um, so yeah, they don't have any study abroad programs. None of their financial aid goes to um, study abroad, um, which is really big. I want to have the opportunity to go to another country because I'm also majoring in computer science. And I did get a C in one of my classes, and because of that C, I'm not allowed to major in computer science, which I think is just total BS, because it's a hard subject. Um, 
Yeah, I, st I can petition it, but I just don't want to go through that whole process. I just want to go to a school that will allow me to um, major into what I want. I also am looking for a place that has a better religious and spiritual life. Um, our school is going through a lot of changes. Um, a lot of people are getting fired. A lot of the adjuncts haven't even seen a raise in like seven years. Um, so last summer they fired the director of religious, religious and spiritual life which affected a lot of people on campus because she was so kind and um, it really took everyone by surprise because she really was part of this campus. Um, so they totally took down, destroyed the whole department of religious and spiritual life and because of that students had to step up, um, I think unfairly, to plan events wide campus traditions that would normally fall onto the director and the department um, members and that's another thing that has affected me because I was really involved in my first year in um, JSC which is the Jewish Student Collective and this year because a lot of JSC members had to step in a lot of the events that we would have planned couldn't didn't go as well because a lot of our attention was on other things. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, hopefully I would attend, I will attend an institution that has a great religious and spiritual life program. One of the most important reasons why I'm transferring is because I just need a break from school. Um, so I'm going to take a leave of absence for my fall semester, which is really wow, because I never thought I would. But I'm taking a break, and then during that fall semester, I'm going to be applying to different colleges for spring admission. So only out of school, hopefully, for one semester. And during that break, I need to take care of my health. Um, I need to decide what I want to pursue. My dream job does not really require a college degree. So I really need to make sure that I'm in college for the right reasons because a lot of my reasons has been for the social experience and not for academic experiences. And we're spending, my family and I are spending a lot of money to be in college and I really do not want to disappoint anyone because this isn't just my journey. A lot of people have invested their time and money in me um, and I can't be selfish. I have to I have to be in college for really solid reasons and when I get back to college I have to make sure that I'm on my A game, that I um, am focused on where I want to go. So I do need to figure out what I want to do. I am looking into teaching, um, becoming a professor, but my dream job, I will probably talk, make another video about that, um, will include different steps. So um, that's my reasons for transferring. All of these combine into the little cocktail of um, just not resentment for being here, but just I need to get away. So I hope I transfer to um, some other schools. I will be making a separate video probably. Um, Sorry, that didn't even make sense. I hope I transfer to another school. I'll be making a separate video on just the transferring um, process. Right now, I'm using Common App. It's what I used in high school. And I already have contact with my high school college counselors who are um, have my transcripts ready to be sent to the colleges. It's just a lot of bureaucratic like procedures and it's a long process, but I know it's going to be worth it, and I'm really excited to be meeting new people, to um, go a new path in life. I don't know where it's going to take me, to Portland, to um, back to LA, to Boston. I'm really excited. Um, so I think that is all. Um, I think that's all. If you want to, um, if you have a Tumblr, follow me on Tumblr. I have the link in the description bar. Subscribe to this channel. I um, will be posting a lot more poetry of my poetry, spoken word, and also some really funny clips. Um, yeah, I have a lot of them that I really need to 
finish editing and uploading. So I hope you all have a wonderful day, or wonderful, wonderful Earth Day, and stay fabulous.